My Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project off the ground. I need someone capable and decisive to step in and steer it in the right direction. Interested? As you know, I'm a busy man, running a company, helping to manage Constellation's financial needs. It doesn't leave me with much time to get into the weeds with every little business venture that comes my way. Besides, think of this as a rare opportunity to help shape the future of a major consumer brand. Dad, do you think Solomon Co. would have liked me? Of course, now that I know you're interested. It's a new ship. We want to diversify our fleet. Now, I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely to come up with new designs can't seem to get out of the R&D phase. And frankly, I don't care. I just want someone, you, to go there and show them how it's done. I did not. Part of the problem is that my designers seem to be having trouble agreeing on a plan. I should mention that you're not there to make design decisions. You're there to get the project back on track and help guide them. So, ideally, you're not adding to the problem. R&D needs to happen first, whenever work starts on a new project. It's a natural stalling point since we need to make so many big decisions. In this case, we're talking about looking at our existing fleet of ships and using data we've gathered to see what consumers want. But of course, each member of the R&D team can interpret that data to suit their own confirmation bias. I'm guessing that's what we're seeing here. Excellent. I'll send word ahead to the project lead, Jules Degante, that you're taking point. They'll all be instructed to listen to you and follow your direction. I expect big things from you, so I'm excited to see what you manage to deliver. I don't believe you'll let me down. Hmm? Walter is quite proud of what his company has accomplished, and for good reason. Have a in the showroom if you're ready to buy. Yeah, these ships are nice, but compared to a Trident, this place is something else. I'm good at what I do, but you're mental if you think I can pull off what you're asking. Tried and true is what we should focus on. This must be Walter's consultant friend. Please, come join us. We've been waiting for you. Hi there. Hello. You must be Walter's colleague. He informed me that you'd be taking charge of Project Kepler despite the fact that we have a fully dedicated R&D staff already assigned to it. But that's okay. I'm sure that even though you have virtually no experience with this, you'll do a great job. Oh, uh, I just assumed. You know what? I'm really sorry. I should trust Walter knew what he was doing. My bad. Even so, we have plenty of designers. As you probably know, we're tasked with coming up with Strout Eklund's next hit starship. But we have budget concerns, market research to finish, and we can't seem to agree on a design. So I guess Walter sent you to resolve these issues. Have at it.
Sure. I'm Jules, R&D project lead. I am, was, the one making all the big decisions. I suppose I just coordinate now. You already heard from Frank. He's lead designer on the project, focused on the look and feel of the ships. There's Ella, another senior designer. She focuses on some of the more technical designs of ships. Went to school with Frank. Mike is our senior engineer, responsible for consulting on all the technical bits. The machinery, the computer systems, etc. And then there's Nev. She's here for marketing. It's her job to weigh in and sell this thing to consumers. Ah, right, so you mentioned. Let's move on to solving our budget issues then, shall we? We were charged with building the newest, hottest ship on the market, which won't be possible unless we petition the board for more money. So we have two new budget proposals. One will allow us to build what I consider to be a very sensible ship, but we'll have to make some tough design cuts. The other will allow us much more flexibility to put whatever we want into the ship. It's what I call the kitchen sink proposal. I don't love it, but it'll be next to impossible to approve. What should we go with? I was afraid you'd say that. Look, I'm the one who has to go to the board with this proposal, so before I can convince them this is going to be worth it, you're going to need to convince me. Well, I'm all ears, because it's going to take a miracle to convince them. I suppose that's true to some degree. Even computers were ridiculed as completely impractical when first invented. Maybe you're onto something. Okay. I think you made some good points. I'll go to the board with the kitchen sink proposal and get that approved. Well, Jules, it seems you have your work cut out for you. Great! That's one problem solved. I'll go forward with that budget proposal and we can move on. Next, we need to gather some market data. The best way to do this is to outfit your ship with some sensors and take it through some real-world scenarios so we can make more informed design decisions. Great! Just pick up a mission or two at the mission board and proceed like you normally would. We'll collect the data when you return. If you take on a variety of missions, we can build a ship to handle a variety of scenarios. But if you just fly one mission, we can build a more focused ship. It's up to you. In the meantime, you might also want to talk with the team, get to know them, give feedback on their proposals, etc. Good luck out there. So, you're Walter's friend. I know he chose you to head this project as some sort of... favor? Honestly, as senior technical designer, I was hoping to receive that honor, but, um... <laughs> uh, there's always next time. Regardless, I'm excited to help you out. Do you have any experience building spaceships? This is wonderful to hear. I hope for all of our sakes that you are not overselling your ability. Now, I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Would you care for a brief synopsis of mine? I'm the most senior designer on this project, for one. Despite all the acclaim he gets, I actually referred Frank to his current design position. He and I were in the same design program when we went to get our degrees back in uni. We support each other as friends as much as possible. Even when we disagree, I love my job here. But I dream one day of working for a small startup or running my own design firm so I can work on custom ships instead of mass-produced products. Of course. But first, let me ask you this. 
What pilot demographic is currently being underserved by the current starship market? Uh, yes, finally, a kindred spirit operating on my own wavelength. You see, while many ships will operate to that end, few ships are designed with exploration as the primary goal. It is my belief that if we build a ship with that in mind, Strata Clint will dominate that market sector. It's my hope that we can jumpstart a new era of affordable, accessible space exploration fueled by ordinary people like you and me. I'd start with a small ship profile. It won't need much storage or passenger capacity. Then, of course, you would want an advanced grav drive to reach deep space and plenty of energy for extended flights. In order to keep costs down, it likely doesn't need expensive weapon systems or defensive measures. It won't need those where it's going. And of course, high-end scanners and other scientific equipment is a must. Thanks. <laughs> Let me tell you, we would not regret going with my idea. This is a chance to do something that will truly inspire future generations. Why do I feel like answering this could be a trap coming from someone who was sent here by Walter to step in and take over our project? <sighs> it's not like I have anything to hide. I used to think working for a super wealthy corporation would be terrible, but honestly, it's pretty great. They've been good to me, and the stability is way better than any startup. I've had opportunities I wouldn't have anywhere else, so yeah, pretty great. Okay, yeah. Bye. We're all super glad you're here, right, everyone? Well, we are. I'm wondering if we need another chef in the kitchen. Then again, I hear Walter brought you in to finally make a decision around here. Good. Just so long as you don't push us to make anything too nutty. I think your decisiveness will put us back on the right track. Speaking of which, I think my plan will get us where we need to be as quickly and efficiently as possible. It's simple, no frills, and most importantly, won't cause me any major headaches on the engineering side. <sighs> Couldn't figure it out from the engineering talk. I'm an engineer, mate. It means I'm the one who's got to put together all these plans and actually make the bloody ship fly. Been doing it for going on 25 years at various star yards. <laughs> they still haven't realized this place would fall apart if not for me. And instead of letting me get to my work, they keep giving me fancy new titles and got me tied up in endless meetings like this one. Truth, and we need it. The others believe we need to think big and innovate. Reality is, we just need to do what we do better than anyone else. So I'm thinking, there's loads of fires. No sense in mucking about with that again. And we've already got one of the best luxury liners in the biz. What I figure is, the cargo running business is booming, and no one's quite built a personal craft like that to serve the working class folk. Nothing fancy, no frills. Just a simple, sturdy, inexpensive ship with cargo room up the wazoo and make it so easy my cousin's little moppet could fly it. Wait, really? I was expecting we'd have to argue a bit more than that. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I hope you're being sincere. Because if I can convince them to go with mine, it'd save us all a lot of trouble in the end. I assume you mean the company and not the people. Because even if I didn't already think so, I'd tell you that both Walter and Issa are great. The company is still kind of young as far as Star Yards go, but it seems to be going in the right direction. Despite what it may look like. 
I've been doing this for a while at other star yards, and so far, we're avoiding a lot of the mistakes some of the older corps have made. Nope. Not really. I like to think I don't have the ego for it. I've got nothing to prove, and I don't rightly care to make my mark on the industry. But all I want to do is build the best damn starships I can, and not get bogged down with all the excess particulars. But upper management loves the work I do. They wouldn't let me say no to this. I guess they needed someone to keep everyone's heads out of the clouds, so here I am. I hope we didn't scare you off, huh? Want to hear my ideas? I mean, I have an idea, but it's not that great. I'm not even a designer or anything. So, I was thinking that we could really use a recreational craft in our fleet. But not like super luxurious like our Adonis pleasure yacht, something marketed more towards families. Something mom and dad could pack up and take the kids on vacation. <laughs> you probably think that's stupid, right? Really? Wow, I am... <laughs> Thank you! I'm really glad I told you about it. Well, if we end up making it, I swear I'll work up a hell of an ad campaign for it. It's... interesting. <laughs> I'm new, and I've never done anything like this before coming here. M marketing for ships, specifically, that is. There are so many things to think of for different demographics, like style, features, cost, and all that. And you also need to think about offensive and defensive capabilities, because space is dangerous and people need to feel like the ship they're buying is safe. Yeah, I've only been here for a few months. I did a little marketing for chunks before this, but it was really more of an internship. <laughs> Ships are, like, totally different than that. I applied for the job here on a whim because I thought it'd be fun. I never expected to be hired. So far I do. But, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I feel like I'm in a little over my head. I, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. But my bosses really seem to like my work, so... I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm doing something right. <sighs> I still feel weird pitching ideas to people who have been at this for so much longer than I have. Um, take care, okay? <laughs> you you know, I have designed spacecraft for over ten years. So... You must have really impressed Walter for him to give you this project. Or maybe it's a bit of nepotism. Never mind that. <laughs> Perhaps he sees in you what he sees in me. As a designer, I see the beauty in our craft and deliver that to the consumer. My desire is to make flying in our ships a joy to all the senses. I have won awards. I am proud of my work. But I do not like to brag. Rather, my goal is to change the board's perception of employees like myself from mere cogs in the corporate machine to value us as artists and let us do as we please. Ah, yes. At least you may be more open to my ideas than my colleagues. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Imagine a luxury craft designed for the most discerning of tastes. Every feature designed for comfort and peace of mind. 
high-end performance, precision engineering, a spacecraft for those who wish to be seen. This will be the most elite personal craft on the market. The ship should be mid-size, spacious but not bulky. We'll want to build it with the highest quality, most expensive modules available. It should feel safe, but not threatening. Focus on defensive measures, not aggressive weaponry. Above all, you should be able to picture your favorite celebrity, or Walter himself, flying this ship and influencing others to buy as well. I'm glad you agree. Such an ostentatious luxury craft will be the envy of everyone in the settled systems. Two words. Conspicuous consumption. Are you familiar with this concept? <laughs> of course not. It's when someone buys something expensive, mostly because it is expensive in an effort to show off their wealth to others. So, if we target what the wealthy elite and celebrities want and sell the ship at a premium, they will buy it and others will follow in order to be trendy. Imagine a star like Borealis is seen getting out of one of our luxury ships. Everyone is going to want one so they too can feel like a celebrity. Later. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes?
Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband. You could be on your way. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. These ships are nice, but compared to a trident... <laughs> well, we're making progress now, I guess. This is going great! Just... fantastic! Oh, yes, I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to give me feedback, but why not, I guess. I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the Starfighter market. Bounty hunting and mercenary work are both big these days, especially among the hard-blooded free stars. We'd want to give it strong weapons, tough defenses, plus good speed and maneuverability. Most starfighters are fairly small, and the tricky part is keeping costs down with all those fancy modules. Wonderful! Thank you! I'm hoping when the time comes, I'll be able to convince the others that's what we should go with. A more focused design seems the proper approach. Ah, so you just did the one bounty mission. Well, doesn't look like you ran into too much trouble, I hope. Anyway, the data you collected will help us focus our ship design and cater towards certain pilots. Now, we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> you seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this. I've tried everything I can think of besides some sort of hokey team-building exercise. So, what do you think you can do differently? You know what? Why not? I'll try anything at this point. Stranger things have happened. And since you mentioned the idea, I think you should be the one to lead us in the guided meditation. Just feed us a steady stream of whatever positive affirmations you've got. I don't know if it will solve the design conflicts, but maybe it'll get everyone working with each other again. And I'll take what I can get, even if it leads to a more ridiculous design. So, you're sure about this? Okay, this should be interesting, since I doubt any of us know what we're doing with this. Okay, everyone, listen up. Our new friend offered to lead us in a group meditation session as a sort of team-building exercise. Everyone take a deep breath, try to relax, and we'll get started momentarily. 
Listen to what he says and repeat his affirmations. Because Mr. Stroud is requiring us to listen to your friend, and I have every intention of doing just that, because I like my job and I don't want to get fired. I am confident we will succeed. I trust my mind and they can trust me. My ability to do my job well. We will get this project back on track and nothing can stop us from success. from success. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Thank you for leading us. I hope that was somewhat relaxing at least. Yeah, it was, kinda. It was fine. I'm good to go over here. You know what? I'll do whatever anyone wants, so long as I never have to go through something like that again. Okay, everyone. I think that's it. Let's get back to work. This is going great. Just fantastic. Based on the decisions you made, well, I'm not quite sure what kind of ship we're going to end up with, but it should be capable in a variety of situations. It sure will have a lot of... stuff to it. This ship's going to be big, and it's going to have the best components available. I'm sure it'll be very capable of handling any situation thrown at it. This thing is going to be a beast, and I don't know how we're going to make it look halfway presentable. My only other concern comes down to the sticker price, and how we're going to actually sell such a monstrosity. But that's marketing's problem now. Poor Nev. Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. This ship comforting. Complete. 
You are clear. If nothing else, Constellation does have excellent lodging. At this point, I'm expecting big things from you with this ship project. Don't let me down. Good to hear. I figured as much. See? I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. I've got to say, it's certainly interesting. They managed to cram just about everything they could into it. Honestly, I don't think it ever occurred to me to do something like that. I'll be honest with you. This is the most expensive ship we've ever made. But I'm confident we can set a price point to make it work. I'd be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line for all of your hard work. Feel free to pick it up at the star yard. Thanks again. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cost plenty. Need some work done? Okay, no problem. It's good to be back in our own ship.
was <clears throat> quite a leap. 